All right, so it is time for the weigh-in, so drum roll, please. Hey guys, what's up? It's Sarah. Welcome to my channel, Lose Weight Sarah, where I'm on a mission to lose 100 pounds my way. Before I get started, I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. You guys are so awesome. I cannot believe I am this close to 500 subscribers, which is halfway to 1000 subscribers, which I just didn't ever think was gonna happen. And I just really, really appreciate you guys joining me on this journey to lose 100 pounds. By the way, I did mention this in one of my live streams not that long ago, but when I hit 500 subscribers, I will do a Q and A video. I know a lot of you have been asking me to do one. So keep an eye out for that. If I hit that 500 subscribers number, I will post. Do you guys think I should do it live? Let me know in the comments comments below. Should I do live q and I feel like that's kind of risky, but I don't know. If you want to see it, let me know. So today is Friday, which means it's weigh-in day. So I am here this week to bring you my weekly weigh-in. Now, if you recall, I did not weigh in last week because I had a binge eating session on the night before. So last Thursday. So I figured why torture myself so I didn't do the weigh-in. So this week I did much, much better. No binges, thank goodness. Before we get to the official weigh-in, of course, I've got to give you my non-scale victories or NSVs. And I had some really good ones to tell you about this week. So let me share those real quick. So my first NSV, I already posted on my Instagram, which if you're not following me, there's my username. And there's also a link in the description box below. I had to actually dig out a jacket this week, which is crazy because it's usually super hot well into September and October here in Oklahoma. The temperature dropped down into the low 60s, which was kind of nice, but also like, hey, can we have like some kind of transition? Because it was 96 degrees the day before. Anyway, so I dug out this jacket that I actually got on my Disney trip back in December 2018. And I bought that jacket. It didn't zip at the time, but I was like, oh, <laughs> I'll lose weight, I'll fit into it. Like who's done that? Been there, done that, right? Well, needless to say, I gained more weight and so it never zipped. So it kind of got buried in a closet somewhere. Well, I pulled that out to wear it and I was just gonna wear it open, no big deal. But I tried to zip it up and it actually zipped. Here's that picture. I'll share it here for you so you can see. Uh, of course, it's a Star Wars jacket because you know, even though I try not to be too much of a nerd, doesn't really work out. I just am how I am. So yeah, so the jacket zipped. I was super excited about that. Couldn't believe it. First time that I was able to zip it all the way up. And the funny thing is, I weigh more now than I weighed when I was in Disney World. But yet the jacket wouldn't zip then and zips now. So that's crazy. And it's just a firm reminder, like, the scale is not the be all end all. I also rocked my workouts this week. On my Tuesday workout, I was able to do 10 sets up and down the bleachers, which I was really, really proud of. I don't keep track of how many times up and down, but that might've been a new record for me. If not, it's equal to the highest that I've ever done. So 10 sets up and down, really tough. I'm still feeling it in my thighs today, but man, it felt great. And I was really, really proud of that accomplishment. All right, so it is time for the weigh-in. So drum roll, please. All right, no drum roll, fine. So here is the weigh-in. So that is a gain of one pound, which I'm not completely surprised. I had a couple of issues this week. I did eat over calories one day. That was on, I believe it was Monday. I ate over calories, which, you know, it happens. We just deal with it and move on. Other issues that I was kind of having, I've got some like really early PMS going on. And I also had some issues with going to the bathroom. So I was kind of expecting a gain this week. Um, a pound was a little more than what I was expecting, but you know what? It's not the end of the world. We're gonna get back on track and next week we're just gonna kill it. I'm really trying hard to hit that next 10 pound milestone that'll put me at 30 pounds lost. So I have 5.2 pounds to go, which I think is really doable by the end of this month. I'm gonna be really focused the next couple of weeks on getting to that milestone, reaching the 30 pound loss mark, and just really, really working hard and digging in. If you are new here, I would love it if you followed along by hitting that subscribe button now. I post new videos every Wednesday and Friday, and on Sunday, I host a live weight loss support 
Discord chat called Caffeine and Calories. We have a great time. The energy in there is amazing and it's a great way to start off your week. Be sure to follow along and join in on one of those live streams if you get a chance. Until next time, I'll see you real soon.